Hey guys, so I'm gonna make a video about some of the reasons I don't like Donald Trump because I don't think that people have been paying attention like I have since way before he got into office. You know, the first message I received on Facebook the day Trump was inaugurated or whatever the fuck you want to call it, cheated in. It was cheated in for sure. You don't think Putin did that? He wanted an idiot, which Trump is, in the office that can't spell, read, write. Okay, let's, let me ask you. If you were having a big get-together at the White House, the White House, what would you cater to eat? Well, let me show you what our president of the United States would cater to feed his hungry friends. And if you think this is funny or cool, you're just fucking white trash. That's all I got to say, and I don't care if it offends you. Block me. But let me show you. Uh, Trump caters... Honey, you gotta learn how to spell first. You're like now you're acting like Trump. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm so worked up. Trump caters party. This is what he picked catered at the party. And this is, doesn't include the um king from another country or or whatever, their majesty or their high one that he gave him steak and ketchup. Mmm, yum. All right, Trump. What do we feed our people, Trump? It's the fast food feast the whole country is talking about. Served by President Trump at the White House for the national champion Clemson University football team. We have pizzas, we have 300 hamburgers, many, many french fries. Piled high on silver platters in the East Room was fast food from three iconic... Who the fuck? Wendy's, Burger King, and McDonald's. At another table, Domino's Pizza and French fries served in paper cups. Even the President of the United States. Sometimes you can't take the white trash out of somebody. Honey, he don't even pay taxes. He don't even pay taxes. He has hurt this country so much. He has made us all against each other. He is so selfish and, and stupid. He paid someone, his own niece, who is a psychiatrist, and believe me, you don't become a psychiatrist if you don't care about people. People that care about people don't lie, normally. Not just for attention or money. That woman was telling the truth. We just made his best friend, Gary, go to prison. Well, not best friend anymore, because Trump's two-faced and was turn on you like a snake. But his lawyer, Michael Conan, he just wrote a book and made, became a billionaire or whatever. It was top seller. Just by telling us stuff we already knew. We just had to hear it from someone that knew. Well, honey, I knew it. I said four years ago that this is a choice between good and evil. And I don't care. I didn't want Hillary either. But she's better than Trump. She has to be. An autistic 12-year-old is. And I'm not making fun of anyone. This is nuts. The fact that he gets the option to go again and where people are really debating on doing it again are nuts. Your little $600 a week that you got on top of your unemployment and all the, 12, the little $1,200 he sent you six months ago, I hope to God you're still living in the same house because I don't know how that worked out. But let me just tell you, other countries got $1,000, $2,000 a month since this started in March. We've had one $1,200 check that he had to make sure he signed every one of them so he can have the attention. Now... After two weeks of fighting with the Republicans and the Democrats about this money, he wants to sign anything. Well, of course, he's scared. His numbers are down. The money doesn't come from him. It's not his fucking money to give you. He doesn't pay taxes himself. You have more money than Donald Trump. And you have more of an education than Donald Trump. And you probably have more of a heart than Donald Trump. Do not vote for Donald Trump. He gave his wife COVID, he gave his son COVID, he gave all of his staff COVID, and he's running around the White House like a nutcase high on heroin or whatever the fuck the hospital gave him, claiming he don't have COVID four days after he had it. That's not okay. You're not okay, Trump. You're impeached. Get the fuck out of the office.